Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Veera Cloud Architect. From this session onwards, I would like to add uh, some uh, real world uh, issue solving sessions as well. So for this today, I have taken a topic uh, called retrieving deleted object on AWS S3. S3 is a storage service available in AWS. Mostly we store huge amount of data in AWS S3. Uh, to retrieve uh, deleted object, uh, there are few prerequisites. First thing is object versioning needs to be enabled. Uh, if we don't, if we did not uh, 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 enable the object versioning, we cannot retrieve the data. And second thing, uh, there are like you know two options while deleting the object. So there is a like you know delete object and a permanently delete object. So if uh, I will show you like you know when we are giving a demo how we can delete the object permanently or delete just just a normal daily so uh, like what are the steps today we are going to follow first thing like you know we have to uh, uh, select the show versioning and then we have to delete the delete marker and then like you know we have to type permanently daily these are the steps we are going to uh, follow to retrieve the data let me get into demo quickly so this is my aws account and i have a bucket called Cloud Synapse demo bucket and in that I have one object called AWS SNS PPT. So I am going to show you how I can delete the object first. So if you there are like you know here you can find show versions option. So if you disable this okay so you can find like you know if you delete this object select this object and then delete this is called normal delete okay so this object will be deleted and this see if you can see like only type delete option is available so which means this option uh, this uh, object can be deleted and it can be retrieved in case like an IP require. or if you go back so this is my object right again select show versions option so if you select like this same thing like you know I'm going to choose the object delete in this case you can find permanently delete the object so if you select this option and you delete the object then the object will be deleted permanently you cannot retrieve the data so this is a kind of in, uh, like you know some of the uh, uh, windows users we can see like you know uh, there is a difference between uh, just to press delete uh, data or shift delete data Okay. If, when you press shift delete, uh, it won't go to recycle bin. So if you just delete the object, then like it will be there in a recycle and we can go and uh, retrieve the data. Same way in uh, AWS S3, if you uh, select show versions option, then it cannot be retrieved. It's kind of shift delete. Okay, So we cannot retrieve. So I'm going to disable this. Now I'm going to delete this object. Delete and we have to type delete to delete the object and then delete object so the object is deleted now yes now again let me press this button show versions if you see, if you can see you can see the versions and the delete market has been created so now what we have to do to retrieve the data so if you see there is no data in this bucket now i'm gonna tick show version and then select the delete marker now go to delete again we have to delete the delete marker and type permanently delete okay so now i'm going to delete the delete marker so now if you go back to the your bucket the object is came back Okay, so which means we have retrieved the data. Okay, so let me show you the other option as well. So now the show version option is enabled. Now if you go and delete the object, this object will delete permanently. Okay, see here they have mentioned to confirm deletion type permanently delete. So if I press like this, the object will be deleted permanently okay in this case we cannot retrieve the data see there is no versions or like a delete market available so we cannot retrieve the data 
so that's everything for today i will catch up with the next interesting issue and with the solution thank you bye for now